Hello again, it's Robert with Spark Fun Electronics, and it's Thursday, so that means another new product post. So today we're going to talk about my top picks for the week, and we've got some really cool stuff in here, so let's take a look and see what we've got. My personal favorite for this week is the brand new Spark Fun Inventors Kit. Now, we've sold the Inventors Kit for quite some time, and it's one of our most popular products, but this version's a little bit different. This new version comes in a handy little carrying case. Um, which you can store all your bits and pieces in. It's the exact same as all the old Arduino Inventors kits that we've had, except for this one has the case. So inside, we've got the Arduino, cable, uh, little breadboard overlays, and then of course the base plate with the um, breadboard, all the wires, and everything else. Um, it's all in this handy little carrying case, so you can keep all your parts in here and keep other stuff in here and keep it all organized. Now, in addition to um, this kit, it also comes with the manual. And the manual includes all the projects, everything step by step, and it shows you how to hook everything up, it tells you the code that you'll need, and it goes through everything really easily to get you started. Now, to everyone that has bought the old Inventors kit that didn't come with the box, we're selling the box separate, so you can get just the box. Um, you can get this, you know, for whatever reason. You can store your parts in it and just use it as storage if you want. Or if you have an inventor's kit and want the box, we sell this too. This next product is pretty cool. This is a LED strip, and basically it's RGB LEDs with the resistors built in in a really flexible self-adhesive strip. We've got them in two varieties. We've got a 60 LED per meter, so each meter length of this has 60 LEDs. And then we've also got a 30 LED per meter, so it has exactly half as many. And the neat thing about these is they're fully self-contained with the adhesive back, and you can just cut them to whatever length you want. They have just these little um, cut points that you can cut and then solder to. And we've got a little demo set up here with a um, Danger Shield and Arduino. And you can see that with the RGB, we can easily blend and change the colors, and it's pretty neat. And basically all that's inside of here is just one of these strips wrapped around a toilet paper tube. We're carrying these in one meter length, and then we've also got a full five meter length. So you can get these in about three feet or about 15 feet lengths. This is the Mod Kit Proto Moto Shield. And essentially what it is, is a little prototyping uh, development board that fits onto an Arduino. It has a motor driver, um, two motor connectors, a couple of switches and buttons, and four of these little audio jacks. These audio jacks are made to made up with a two and a half millimeter audio cable. And it's intended that you plug one of these in, and on the other end, you plug in any kind of analog sensor. Now, what's interesting about the mod kit is it actually has its own programming environment that is basically drag and drop. So you can have a module that you say, if this condition's true, then do this. So it's really easy to program different conditions um, for the beginner or someone that's just learning about this stuff. And with the little plug in connectors to the sensors, it's a really easy platform to use, so you might want to check this out. So we all probably have a huge stockpile of LiPo batteries and maybe no easy way to charge them. We already have a couple of different chargers that we sell for LiPos, um, but the basic LiPo charger is pretty neat. It's really small and very simple. The basic LiPo charger has a JST jack on one end and a micro USB on the other. So plug this into your computer, or uh, anything that accepts USB, and you can charge your LiPo batteries. This works with all the LiPo batteries that we sell. It's even got a little mounting jack in the middle so you can mount this internally in your project. So if you have something portable that you need a charging circuit in, you can just put one of these right inside. So we've got a couple new IMUs to talk about. We've got the 9 off stick, and then we've got the Ultimate IMU. Um, you might have seen the 9 off stick in the rocket launch video we did the other day. Uh, basically, it's just a 9 degrees of freedom board with a power regulator and an I2C interface. Got a 3-axis accelerometer, 3-axis gyro, and a magnetometer on there. It's also half the thickness of our normal board, so this thing is light and you can fit it anywhere. Unfortunately, this revision of the board had an error with the PC board and we had to end up doing a jumper wire, 
the next revision that we will come out with will not have that error. Um, but in the meantime, you can get these for a little bit cheaper than we would normally sell them for. The Ultimate IMU is a much bigger board and has a lot more functionality to it. It has a GPS slot on it or a GPS socket. It's got an SD card socket. It's also got an XB header. And basically, this will do all your data logging and um, all your processing, really. Uh, we have the firmware posted up there, so you can check out the firmware and definitely write your own to suit your purposes. Both of these should be pretty cool to use in whatever applications you have. On one last note, the Arduino Uno has been a lot more popular than we anticipated. Uh, we did get a big shipment in uh, just recently, so we'll be able to build more inventors kits and more Unos. So if you could, just please be patient. We'll get them up pretty soon, and hopefully by the time this video airs, it won't even be an issue. So thanks again for watching this week. Uh, we've had a lot of neat products. Definitely check out the whole post. There's a lot more stuff. And uh, we'll see you again next week with even more products.